Hi, Raylan. Lincoln said you took some vacation days for Thanksgiving week. So how long will you be at my house? You mean Lincoln? I have no idea. How impolite of you. You're my son's wife. You should be informed. I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about his plans for that week. How can that be? You took the time off, so you should know your own family's plans. This is disgraceful. I think you got it wrong. I am taking that week off, but I'm not going to your place for Thanksgiving. That's why I'm not sure what Lincoln's plans are. What? Lincoln's the one going to your place, not me. So don't you think you should ask him when he's arriving and how long he's staying instead of me? What are you talking about? Are you saying you're not coming here for Thanksgiving? You must be crazy. I'm having the whole family over. I'm not crazy. You told me yourself, didn't you? Told you what? You said you never wanted to see my face again. Well, whether I want to or not, I have no choice now, do I? You're part of the family, so you need to show up to family gatherings. Believe me, if I could change it, I would. But Lincoln married you, so I'm stuck with you. So quit fooling around and be here for our Thanksgiving dinner. Tell me what days you're coming and let me know right away. I need to inform the rest of the family. You two are the only ones who live so far away. We have to arrange everything around you. It's frustrating. And I know it's because of you that Lincoln moved so far away. Lincoln and I chose to move together, so don't accuse me. And anyway, every time I go to your house, you just make me do all the chores. I can't enjoy myself when I'm there. It's like you forbid it. I can't believe you just said that to me. You're my daughter-in-law. You're supposed to respect me and do what I say. That's your job. You're supposed to make life easier for me when you're around. You're supposed to be grateful for everything I've done for you and my son. I have no idea what Lincoln sees in you. It's still a mystery as to why he decided to marry you. You're so selfish and lazy. You don't care about anyone but yourself. It's not like I make you do that every day. You're complaining about helping your own mother-in-law a few times a year. You're useless. You can't even cook or clean properly. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I don't agree with you. Raylan, I can't believe you don't know this already. But I guess I'll just have to tell you myself. When you marry a man, you're not supposed to just make his life better. You're supposed to make life for his parents better too. You're supposed to honor them and serve them. So obviously that includes me. That's your job. That's any wife's job. I've never heard that before. Is that how they did things in the old country before your family moved to America? Huh? Old country? What are you talking about? My parents were born and raised here, and so was I. This is where I belong. So is that an old custom from your country that your grandma taught you or something? How dare you? You're being so rude to me. You're a horrible person. I can't believe people like you exist. You talk like this, yet you won't even give my son a boy of his own. The family name is going to die with him all because of you. You're the reason why he's unhappy. Yeah, I know. You've told me that many times before. And you say it to me as if I can control the gender of my children before they're born. Say whatever you want, but I won't be going to your house for Thanksgiving. Lincoln will be going without me. Lincoln is okay with it too. In fact, it was his idea. Lincoln wouldn't say anything like that. He loves me more than he loves you. He knows it's your job to help me out. Stop with your jokes. They're not funny. And lying is never funny. You're not just a terrible wife. You're a liar, too. No. Lincoln sees how you treat me, and he knows me going to your house causes nothing but stress. He doesn't want me to suffer anymore because of you. When you come here, you're the only one causing anyone stress. All you do is complain about every little thing I ask you to do for me. You act like it's such a big deal to cook for me or clean for me or run errands for me. I don't remember complaining about anything you've asked me to do. Can you give me one example? It doesn't matter. Just shut up. You're a worthless excuse for a woman. Wow. And you talk about me being rude to you? Anyway, like I said, 
I'm not going with Lincoln this year. He's going by himself. You two are supposed to be husband and wife. You're supposed to do things together. That means you should be with Lincoln instead of staying home by yourself. You obviously weren't raised very well if you don't even know that much. That sounds a little old fashioned too. Besides, other than him going to your house without me, we're together pretty much all the rest of the time, so don't worry about us. Well, I can assume that Tiffany is coming here with Lincoln then. I'll make sure there's fresh sheets on the bed in the guest room for her. No, I said Lincoln will be going by himself. Tiffany will be spending Thanksgiving with me. What? Why? So now you're not even going to let me see my own granddaughter? How could you be so cruel? Don't you know how much I love her? Why are you so rude? Why are you ignoring my messages? You shouldn't have texted me. You're the one who's making this conversation worse. Furthermore, did you forget? Forget what? What are you talking about? When I gave birth to Tiffany, you said, and I quote, we don't need another girl in the family. You remember saying that, right? I may have said that, but that doesn't matter. Little Tiffany has come to my house many times. My granddaughter is cute. I want to see her. I can see a lot of Lincoln in her and not much of you. Maybe that's why I like her so much. Oh, really? I guess that's good to hear. But the last time we visited you, didn't you say to me, and I quote again, so you still haven't given me a grandson yet, have you? You know, that's what we need. The truth is, Tiffany heard you say that, and now she thinks you don't want her. She cried herself to sleep that night, and she hasn't forgotten what you said. So we're not taking her over there anymore. But I didn't say anything bad about Tiffany. If you let her think that that was an insult to her, then this is all your fault. You're a bad mother. I didn't insult Tiffany. You didn't say anything bad about Tiffany. But she knows you want a grandson, and she knows she's not a boy. She's young, but she's old enough to put two and two together. Maybe you should be more considerate when you open your mouth in front of everyone. Yeah, look. I'll apologize to her when she comes here. So make sure you and Tiffany both come here with Lincoln for Thanksgiving. No, Tiffany and I won't be going there this year. Tiffany and I are going to be spending Thanksgiving with my parents and my family. You've got to be kidding me. You are my oldest boy's wife for Pete's sake. If you're not here, who's going to prepare the Thanksgiving meal for everyone? See, you expect me to do it all instead of sharing the work amongst the whole family? If you don't want to have the whole family help, well, you're hosting the party. So don't you think you should be the one preparing the meal? But the whole family is going to be there. My job is to entertain everyone while they're here. I can't be slaving away in the kitchen out of everyone's sight. But you expect me to? That's not the point. I can't do all this myself. Why can't everyone help? Or get everyone to bring something so you'll only have to make the turkey. I can't make my guests bring food. Why not? Are they guests or family? Don't get smart with me. It's your job to do all this. What you're saying doesn't make any sense. You don't want your guests or your family to do any work yet. You want me to do it all? So if I went to your house, you're saying I wouldn't count as a guest nor as a family member? That's not what I'm saying at all. As my eldest son's wife, it's your job. I've never heard that before in my life. And if hosting a Thanksgiving dinner is too much work for you, and you don't want to share the work amongst everyone, then why don't you just get it all catered? I'm not doing that. Do you know how expensive catering would be on a holiday? And besides, having the family come to my house and everyone eating a nice home-cooked meal is a family tradition. So if you want to be part of this family, make sure you're here to do your job. You have to remember, we're not like your family. We're not poor. We expect a certain level of sophistication. So now you're implying that your family has more money than mine. I don't know why you think my family is poor. And again, this isn't making any sense. Let me get this straight. Your family's not poor. You're implying you have lots of money, and yet you don't want to pay for catering because it's expensive. Okay, shut up. And I don't know why you think my family's poor. This year, we're all going to West Palm Beach for Thanksgiving weekend. 
We've booked the whole family in a nice hotel, and we're having the grand Thanksgiving feast at a beautiful restaurant. We'll be having amazing food, and none of us have to lift a finger. Everyone is going to be relaxing the entire weekend. My brother and sister are also going to be there with their families, and nobody will have any trouble paying for the little trip. In fact, I'll be paying for my parents' entire weekend. They offered to pay, but I wanted it to be my treat because of all they do for Tiffany and me. What? I can't believe this. You're taking your parents on a vacation? You've never done anything nice for me. You only care about your family, don't you? You married my son, but you don't care about us at all, do you? You don't do anything for me and my husband. As far as I'm concerned, you're not part of my family anymore. It's my money. I can do whatever I want with it. What are you talking about, your money? It's Lincoln's money. All you do is sit at home all day, and then you go and pay for a vacation for you and your parents with my son's money? No, I paid for it with my own money. Lincoln and I each set aside 10% of our earnings to do whatever we want with. All the rest is put toward bills, our household, and savings for our future. We call that 10% left over our entertainment fund. I'm using the money I saved up in my entertainment fund. Not one cent of this is coming from Lincoln's earnings. Don't lie to me. You sit at home all day. You don't do anything. How can you sit there and tell me that it's your money? Do you think I'm stupid? I've told you this before. I don't just sit at home doing nothing all day. I work from home. That's why I had to use vacation days to get the entire week off for Thanksgiving. Oh, don't give me that. I don't care about some little side job you run from your house. Making 10 or $20 a day doesn't mean anything. And if you're only keeping 10% of that for yourself, it would take you years just to afford one plate at a fancy restaurant. Just like I figured. You really don't understand the meaning of working from home, do you? Fine, tell me. What do you sell, Avon? Scarves you knit in your spare time? What? How many times do I have to tell you? I'm a senior graphic design artist. I work remotely from home. Everything I do is digital. I hardly ever go into the office. Remote? What are you talking about? Why are you talking about TV? To put it simply, I use the internet. Do you not see how we're talking to each other right now, even though we're not in the same room? That's kind of how my job works. I stay home and work, but it's like I'm at the office. I'm connected to everyone all the time. Don't give me that. We're talking to each other without being in the same room because we're using a phone. Phones have been around since before I was born. Don't try to fool me. Talking to people on the phone doesn't make you money. See, you don't get it. We're using a phone, but we're not talking on the... Ugh, never mind. And my job isn't a side job. I work well over 40 hours a week, and I make a lot more than Lincoln does. If you can't understand that, I'm not even going to try to explain to you how I make extra money by buying and selling stocks. Look, it's like this. I use the internet to communicate with my office and to submit my work. It's the same job I was doing before, but now I do it from home. Can you imagine that? Huh? You mean you didn't quit working for that company when you married Lincoln? Of course I didn't quit. And I never said I did, either. But it was around that time that my company got set up to support remote work. Wait, are you saying you thought I hadn't had a job this entire time? <laughs> I thought you quit work to stay home and raise Tiffany. No, of course not. But when I got pregnant with her, my company offered to get me set up for remote work so I could stay home with Tiffany and still continue doing my job. She was basically the reason I decided to do it. Actually, when she was born, I was just a graphic design artist, but I've been promoted since then. I can't believe you thought I wasn't working at all. I didn't know about any of this. We've told you many times. But because I went to a technical school instead of a regular college, you've done nothing but make fun of me and call me stupid, haven't you? But when either Lincoln or I try to explain my job to you, it just goes right over your head. Because you're the one who's not smart enough to understand it. You'd better watch your mouth. This is just like how you keep thinking my family is poor. You've got this idea in your head and nothing anyone says can change it. We keep telling you that my dad works for a construction company, 
and the only thing you can picture him being is a general laborer. But he is an executive who works in the head office of the construction company. His company builds massive structures like factories and warehouses. It's not a small operation by any means. My dad coordinates construction projects all over the country. But you just don't get it. Huh? I thought he did road construction or something. I figured he was one of those guys who stood on the road and held a slow sign. What? <laughs> no, not at all. And I think you'd be surprised how much guys like that make anyway. You really don't know much about working at all, do you? Maybe because you've never worked a day in your life. I don't really know what you're getting at here. Whatever. The point is, you don't need to be worrying about my family. They aren't in need of any money. And as for me, I'm doing just fine financially as well. Much better than Lincoln, too. So if I want to take my parents on a trip, Lincoln can't say anything about it. He knows that, and he's fine with it. Besides, this little trip I'm taking with Tiffany and my family is just a drop in the bucket. So don't worry about us. In fact, I'm thinking about taking my parents to the Caribbean in the winter. Raylan, I'm so sorry. It seems I was wrong about you. Let's just forget about how I've treated you so far, okay? I didn't know the whole story. You can't blame me for that, can you? Let's make a fresh start, okay? Let's have a nice long talk about all of this over Thanksgiving dinner. How does that sound? What? <laughs> That's impossible. I have plans already. I told you that. And I don't like how you can flip-flop and do a complete 180 like that. What do you mean by that? Look, we already have everything booked. And since we booked it as a group, if I was to cancel and go to your place instead, I wouldn't get my money back because of the rest of the group would still be going. I'm not wasting my time, my money, or my vacation days to go to your place. It doesn't have to be Thanksgiving weekend. We can get together a different time. You said yourself you do remote work, so you can come here anytime you like, right? You can do your work here, and I can see my granddaughter. It's a win-win. I'm sorry, but you live in the middle of nowhere, and your internet would be too slow for me to get any work done. And that's not even taking into consideration any data caps you might have. Not to mention the fact that I doubt you would give me any time to get any of my actual work done. Going to your place has too many variables I can't risk. Too many variables? What does that even mean? Whatever. It doesn't matter. If you don't want to come here, how about we join you in Palm Beach? Let's enjoy Thanksgiving together. Huh? What about the rest of your family? And why would you want to spend Thanksgiving with my family? It's okay. I don't have to have Thanksgiving at my house every year. If I canceled this one time, I don't think anyone would mind. I think it's best if my husband and I spend time with you and Tiffany this year. I thought you said having Thanksgiving at your house was a tradition? <laughs> every now and then. It's good to try something new. Besides, I haven't been to Palm Beach before. It sounds great. If you want to come, I can't really stop you. That's great. Thanks. But you're going to have to book your own hotel room, and you won't be able to join us for dinner. I guess that would be okay. Which hotel are you staying at? Let me make one thing clear, though. I'm not paying for you or your husband. What? Why not? That's so rude. I don't see how that's rude. I said I was paying for my parents. You're not my parent. If you want to take a vacation to Palm Beach, that's up to you. That's got nothing to do with me. Oh, and just so you know, the hotel we booked is very popular. I made reservations months ago. I doubt you'll be able to get a room at the same place we're staying at. I booked a couple of months ago, and I still had to use one of my connections to get enough rooms for everyone. I doubt you'll be able to get in, but maybe they can put you on a wait list and maybe you'll get lucky. I can't believe this. I get it. You make good money and you have good connections. You don't have to rub it in my face like this. You're so rude. You're always putting me and my family down. Have some respect. I'm rude? I haven't said anything about your family other than I'm not paying for your vacation. You're the one who's always making fun of me for the school I went to and for what my dad does for a living. You even came out and said straight to my face that you never wanted to see me again. And you even made Tiffany think you hated her just because she was a girl. And today alone, 
You've called me useless, horrible, a terrible wife, a liar, and a worthless excuse for a woman. And you talk about me being rude? <laughs> Look, I might have gone a little too far with some things that I've said. I apologize for that. So let's go on a nice trip together so we can clear the air, okay? If you want to come book a hotel room and pay for it yourself or see if Lincoln is willing to use some of his money to help pay for you. Oh, wait. Now that I think about it, I don't think you'd be able to. He's been saving up for a new surround sound system for the entire living room. But 10% of his earnings means he's been saving up the entire year and he still doesn't have enough. I doubt he'll hand over his entire entertainment fund to you just because you're jealous of my parents. Raylan, please. Just this one time. We're family. Huh? Cameron, are you forgetting the other thing you said to me earlier today? You told me in plain English, and I quote yet again, As far as I'm concerned, you're not part of my family anymore. And you know what? I agree. You've never once made me feel like I was part of your family, so don't worry about it. I don't consider you and I family either or even friends for that matter. And for that exact reason, please don't text me anymore. Don't call me either. If you want to talk to your family, talk to Lincoln. In the end, I decided not to go to my mother-in-law's house for Thanksgiving. I had enough of her constant nagging and criticism, and I wanted to enjoy the holiday with my daughter Tiffany who was also fed up with her grandmother's attitude. Instead, we had a wonderful time with my sisters, who invited us to join them for a Thanksgiving vacation in Palm Beach. It was a nice change of scenery from the cold and dreary weather we had been having, and we got to relax on the beach, go shopping, and have some delicious food. My mother-in-law's favorite son tried to book a hotel in Palm Beach just out of spite, and maybe to attempt to ruin my vacation. He was always trying to please his mom and make me look bad in comparison. But all the good hotels were booked solid since it was a popular destination for the holiday season. That and Lincoln, my husband, refused to pay even a portion of the cost of the trip for his parents. He didn't want to miss out on his surround sound system that he had almost saved up enough money to buy when his mom tried to guilt him into paying for the vacation. She made the mistake of asking him, which is more important to you, my happiness or a new surround sound system. And Lincoln made the mistake of answering truthfully and saying the surround sound system. Needless to say, it made for a quite an uncomfortable Thanksgiving weekend when Lincoln went to his parents' house. Apparently, Lincoln managed to get through the dinner with the help of a lot of wine and left early the next morning, despite how far of a drive it was for him. I think Lincoln and his mom will work things out eventually and she'll forgive him for not treating her to a vacation. But as for me, to this day, I still have Lincoln's mom's number blocked on my phone. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life.